a well-sized rope dart is going to be easier to control, easier to learn more moves, and in general, you're going to have a lot more fun with it. If you don't know how to size yourself for a rope dart, here's how. It's important that your rope dart fit you. If your rope is too short, you may not have enough slack to do the moves that you're interested in. That said, if your rope is too long, you may have so much slack that it's difficult to control the rope dart and you'll end up beating the head against the ground over and over again, which will destroy it fairly quickly. Many rope dartists develop a style that may necessitate more or less slack. More slack can be really useful if you want to do really intricate empty knot work, whereas less slack can be helpful if you're looking to do more contact rope dart movements. It's all about finding a style that works for you, and if that style necessitates more or less rope, making sure your rope dart fits your style. That said, perhaps you're a new rope dart spinner, or you're looking for a good length that'll work for pretty much any kind of style that you throw at it. In that case, there's a really easy way to measure yourself to make sure that the rope dart is going to fit you. What you'll want to do is first measure your wingspan, which, when your arms are fully outstretched, is the distance from fingertip to fingertip. Then add to that the distance from your shoulder to the ground. For me, that's 10 feet 2 inches, and so I would say that my overall length for my rope dart is 10 feet 2 inches. When I say overall length, I mean from the tip of the head all the way to where it connects to my wrist. In this case, I've got a slip knot tied around my wrist. Now, many people don't happen to have a tape measure handy or don't know this length, the, the, the distance of their wingspan plus shoulder to the ground. But you do know your height, and assuming you're relatively average proportioned, there's a really easy way to use your height to estimate your rope dart length. What you'll want to do is take your height, double it, and subtract one foot. In my case, I'm 5 feet 6 inches tall. Double that is 11 feet, minus one foot is 10 feet. And as I said before, my wingspan plus shoulder to the ground is 10 feet 2 inches, so it's almost exactly accurate. I've tried this on several other people, and I've always found it consistent within a few inches, so I encourage you to try it out yourself. Now, again, this is the overall rope dart length, so tip of the head to where it connects to the wrist. If I were to buy a rope dart on the Dark Monk website, on the rope dart page, there's a field called overall rope dart length, and that is where I would type 10 feet or 10 feet 2 inches. That said, let's just assume I already have a head, I already have swivels and quick links and chain and everything else I might need, except the rope. And all I want to do is order some dragon rope off of the Dark Monk website. I would take my, my overall desired rope dart length and add two feet. Those extra two feet give me the rope I need for whatever knots that I need to connect the rope to swivels, chain, quick links, etc. And whatever rope I'll need for the, either the slip knot or perhaps a monkey fist or some kind of knobbly knot that I might hold in my hand if you prefer that style. So, whereas before I wanted an overall rope dart length of 10 feet or 10 feet 2 inches, if all I wanted to buy was the rope, I would buy 12 feet or 12 feet 2 inches. I hope you found this helpful and I encourage you to keep on spinning. Thank you.